on guys making another video on my tractor i'm currently inside the cab that's why it's echoing a little bit because there's guys next door uh doing some roofing and uh i have the door closed but anyway i am at let me see here i believe it's 102 hours on my tractor So I am currently at 102.9 hours on the tractor. Holy shit. Already at 102. All right. So the major stuff uh, was at 50 hours. Uh, oil filter, oil and oil filter, uh, transmission fluid, hydraulic fluid, uh, axle oil, um, you know, and basically, you know, checking stuff like the electrical. Already went through all that. Uh, at a hundred hours, there's not much you got to do except, uh, check the element, which I'll show you where it's located. Uh, I'm going to pull it out and, uh, use a, uh, some shop air, blow it out, uh, if it's, uh, you know, dirty. But basically, a hundred hours, there's not much you have to do. As you can see over here in this column, nothing here. Uh, the next major stuff, it's at 300 hours. And wow, I'm so impressed, so happy with the tractor haven't had one issue uh it's low maintenance um yeah after you get over that 50 hour mark and replace your fluids um and uh cross uh the nightmare was at 50 hours is just getting finding oil filters uh with the korean numbers that they put on the factory it was a pain in the ass um i had to go to napa um, but if you're interested i could give you uh, some numbers on the filter and uh hydraulic oil and a hydraulic filter um i already got, already got them switched over anyway so yeah so i'm at 102 hours so basically i'll show you where the element is and basically you just want to go over your tractor check the wiring underneath if you're using it make sure you didn't snag up on anything uh check your hoses make sure they're not wet anywhere because uh, definitely at 100 hours you shouldn't have any uh, leaky hydraulic hoses um or anything like that but basically just eyeball everything pop your hood open um and just uh look everything over really good but uh i'm gonna go out there and uh, pop the hood and show you where the air filter is located i mean you can't miss it. it's a big canister but uh let's do that all right so here i am outside pull your little pin that move your brush guard here out of the way yep. all right so basically you know take a look at everything check your fuel filter um, you know check everything make sure everything's up to par there it is air cleaner like I said, you can't miss it. Um, there's your intake hose right there. It goes to the front. That's your intake hose right there. It takes fresh air in. There it is right there. Clips. Um, I have not done this yet, but as, as, as you could see, you're going to have to remove the air intake hose. Unscrew it right there. Get this out of the way. You just pop those clips open right here. Very easy. Um, personally, I would have put the air cleaner, the whole canister, somewhere on the outside. Kind of sucks that it's jammed in there, but what are you going to do? It's a compact tractor. You know, check your coolant level. Just basic routine maintenance. Look everything over. You know, but uh, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I'm not going to continue filming because, I mean, you can get a monkey to do this pretty much. Like I said, remove your intake hose, screwdriver, pop these two clips off, cartridge slides out, take some shop air. If you don't have any shop air, gently, gently tap it on something on concrete. Um, don't go banging it. You don't want to bend the element because you don't want <clears throat> dirt getting in your engine. So like I said... Uh, if you don't uh, have any shop air, just be careful. Tap it gently. Oh. Yeah, definitely. You don't want any frogs in your engine bay. Check him out. 
Wow, and I just ran this tractor the other day. Yeah, I'm going to have to get him out of there. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you. Um, and like I said, this tractor's been great. No complaints. Uh, still no luck on the armrest. Um, looks like I'm going to have to buy a whole seat um, because I just cannot find any armrest for this tractor. Uh, the Royal King tractor does come with armrest. I have no clue why this one did not come any armrest. That is a pain in the ass driving it around because... It kind of tosses you around, and I believe with the armrest, you would have a little bit of a more secure feeling in that seat instead of getting bounced around. But uh, basically, that's it. Just armrest. Uh, it's been a good tractor. No issues at all. All right. So uh, thank you for watching. Any comments, questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you. See ya.